Are you ready? Let's do this. I know what'll cheer you up. How about a joke? What do you call a girl with a frog in her hair? Lily! Hello everyone and welcome to the third Get More done right blog. Today we're going to be talking about indoor plants. Indoor plants are a really nice thing to have, especially if you don't have a garden outside, like you live in an apartment or anything like that. I'm going to showcase to you guys um, a couple plants that are typical indoor plants that are really common. And then as well, Easter just passed and we all know we get the Easter flowers. And what else can we do with them after they're finished blooming? Okay, first indoor plant would be the very common, da da da, the orchid. Next, what can we do? Let's do this one. This one is the the infamous uh, gift hydrangea. Pink, blue, purple, whatever color. Um, and yeah, very easy to maintain. And then I'll show you a neat trick what to do with them after. And we got our two lilies for last. The Easter lily. My uh, faithful companion and ping pong uh, challenger. The peace lily. So the four up here on the table, we're going to start with probably the hardest one out of these four uh, to maintain. That would be the orchid. It's a great house plant. It loves sun, indirect sun. Don't place it on a windowsill with the sun directly hitting the petals in the plant. But in a bright room, basically a room that, you know, you can have the blinds open and you can read a book without needing a light. That's the kind of room that this likes. Um, you give it about three ice cubes per week, um, and yeah, it's a great plant. So once the flower heads do fall off, don't throw it out. A lot of people, what they do is they figure, oh, it's garbage, they throw it out. No, 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 no. You can start caring for it again, giving it fertilizer one week, and then water the next week, and alternating like that every other week. It'll bloom again, and it'll have bigger blooms, and it'll long last it. Oh God, they're after me. Okay, the next common one is the peace lily. What's good about this plant, the peace lily, is it's very, very hard to destroy. If you're giving it a little bit of water, uh, and it basically tells you when it needs water, like here, right here, you see how this is kind of droopy? The whole plant should look lively. It is droopy. Give it a little water. Tomorrow, it'll perk up. But yeah, very easy to maintain this plant. Again, like the orchid, doesn't like direct sunlight. Um, it's very tolerable to no sunlight at all, actually. Doesn't need a whole lot of water and attention. So if you're the per type of person who doesn't really think they would be able to handle, you know, a high maintenance plant, this is absolutely perfect for you, a peace lily. Okay, so those are two really easy, pretty low maintenance plants that you can get for at your home. Those two I would definitely recommend. There's a whole bunch of others, uh, English Ivy, uh, Aloe Vera is really good, uh, Peperomia, Dracania, uh, Spider Plant, Rubber Tree, uh, what else, uh, su succulent plants, so stuff like cacti, stuff like that. If you have kids, I wouldn't recommend it because sometimes they're a little spiky and, you know, kids and spiky things don't mix. Okay, so Peace Lily is done. Okay, we've gone to the two, you know, stay indoor home plants. Uh, let's go to the Easter ones that we all get around this time. Hydrangeas, great indoor plant. Uh, what people do is they think, okay, great, I've got it for Easter, it's going to last for like a month or so, and then, and then throw it out. Don't necessarily do that. What you can do is you can take it out uh, and actually put it in your garden outside. You can leave it there, um, cut it back before the winter, and then it'll come back next summer. So that's a bonus. Not a lot of people do that. Same with your Easter lily. I love these. These are absolutely cool. I love watching the pot like this. But again, same thing as the hydrangea. Take it out, put it in your garden outside. Definitely likes the sun. 
the hydrangea direct sun for about three hours, then to the rest of the day, kind of partial sun shade mix. The sun all day in a hydrangea will burn it out and it'll be wilting all the time. You'll be watering like crazy. Not a lot of people do that, but you should be. Don't just throw it out of plant. I mean, if you can use it and save it, it looks great. Why not, right? Okay, what else can I tell you? Uh, tips and tricks about indoor growing. Me, being the thrifty guy I am, uh, I went and made my own carpet slash floor savers because they're super cheap and super cool. You can make your own carpet savers, right? Say if I had this and I want to put it on the carpet, when I water it, it's not leaking all over it because I've made my own dish that simply you can get from the garbage bin or recycle bin at any nursery. Uh, and if they're nice enough, they'll let you have some. You just cut it out and away you go. Like I said, orchid, um, peace lily are definitely the two go-to plants for in Ontario. They do really well with the right care. If, you, if you're new to this, if you're new to indoor growing, don't be discouraged if your first or second plant doesn't work out. It's, it's practice makes perfect. You'll get a feel of what plant needs, how much water, and what time uh, as time goes on, and you get more uh, experience on your belt. I wanted to thank Sheridan Nurseries uh, at Unionville, Highway 7 there. They're always great, so helpful. Thank you to Dan Short. Um, he's the best. Anyways, hope you liked my video. Stay tuned for more, and thank you so much for watching. And remember, work hard and keep smiling. Also, like my last video, make sure to clean up or your wife will probably hate you. Mm. Perfect.